Stop struggling, Harper. You don't want to upset my reptilian friends. Let her go, Mr. Apep. My sister has nothing to do with this. But that's not really true, is it? Because her near-death experience is what started everything. You saved her, Mondo, and the Reaper died instead. But you only saved her because I let you save her. You... That's right. The falling heart in the gym, the pool filling with water, the science lab explosion. Where do you think all that mayhem came from? And the zombies. How they all ended up in Savannah at the same time. Sometimes you just have to unleash a little chaos in the world. Chloe. Fluctus, the dawn. A tidal Fluctus. wave, Chloe? Is that your plan? To wipe out this entire island? Meanwhile, Harper and I will be gone before the wave even breaks. <sighs> never mind. That's my girl. All of this for my grandmother, who never even loved you? I have big plans for us, and she will love me, won't she, Marcus? Don't help him! We don't know what bringing someone back will do! Marcus. Quiver. Bo. You missed! See? I'm stronger and faster than any of you! I've been chaos for thousands of years, ever since I poisoned the one who came before me! I'm responsible for war, disease, hate! And what are you? Three silly teenagers who stumbled into jobs you're not even qualified for! You're... you're a monster! Let her go, Mr. Apep! Can't do that, but I'll give you all some time to think. You meet me in front of the school in an hour. And then, together, we'll all take a nice little trip to the Valley of Souls, with Mondo as our guide. Mondo! Oh, Harper! Harper! Gen Z Media presents Cupid and the Reaper, Chapter 2 of the nature of us. Episode 10, The End and The Beginning. do? Maybe we have to give him what he wants. You mean just bring my grandmother back and hand her over to Apep? He's going to kill my sister if we don't. Who's to say he won't take my grandma and then kill Harper anyway? We can't trust Chaos. I can shoot him with an arrow. Make him fall out of love with your grandma. Or fall in love with you. First of all, you. And he's already proved he's too fast. Maybe I could unleash a tornado or stick a giant mongoose on him. The Valley of Souls has no nature, no animals, no weather. I'm not sure you have any power there. I think it's going to be up to me. I wish I could say that comforts me. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Do you have a plan? Maybe. Apep said he murdered the last Chaos, right? A couple thousand years ago. It means he can die too. That's a start. Marcus, do you think you could rig up a fake golden arrow? I could drain all the power from an arrowhead. Great. Hey, Chloe, didn't you say you sometimes hear your grandma's voice in your head? I used to. Do you think if you got close, you could talk to her without talking? Tell her to play along. I could try. What are you thinking? We go to the other side of the river. We bring her on board the boat. Marcus hits her with a dummy arrow. For the moment, Apep thinks he's won. It won't take long for him to figure it out. But it'll buy us a few seconds. For what? When I'm getting the boat ready for launch, if you distract Apep, I'll fill a cup with the poisonous water from the river. Then, when he's all love-struck by her grandma, I splash him with the water. Bloop, I save Harper. Bloop, Grandma Ivy is returned to where she belongs. You know, that's actually not a bad plan. Even though everything I've done so far is a disaster? Did I say that? You said we were both disasters. 
Well, I'm not exactly one to talk. I'm in. Look at us. Acting like a team. Yeah. 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 So, what are you going to use to carry the water from the river? Eh, why don't you head over to that juice bar and ask John for a cup? Okay, sure. John? Trust me, they have a lot in common. Excuse me? Might I take one of your... Oh, it's you. Hello, Marcus. It's good to see you again. Cupid. You live here now? Well, you're Cupid. I'm just John. John? I... I'm so sorry. For what? For everything. My parents, Ms. Durant, Mr. Apep, my sister. I've made such a mess. Yeah, you have, but... I believe you'll figure it out. You do? Even with everything that's going on? Why? Because this world is not run by chaos. I may not be the guy with the wings anymore, but I still believe that in the end, love wins out. I brought you some lunch. Thanks. Patrick, this is my friend, Marcus. Nice to meet you, Marcus. Marcus, this is Patrick, my husband. Your husband. Then you found love. I did. Finally. But I didn't... Nope. It happened. All on its own. That's amazing. You deserve to be happy. Are you happy? Very. And I've become awfully attached to this world. So do me a favor. Don't let chaos destroy it. Wait, can I ask you about... Here's that cup you asked for. Better take a lid, too. Thanks, but... Your friends are waiting, and your sister needs you. Good luck, Cupid. It's your time now. Um, thank you. Wings! Okay, Reaper, Nate, I got the cup. Let's do this. Chloe, grab my hand. Marcus, you take hers. In three, three two... two. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to worry. For Harper's sake. You don't have to do this, guys! I'm not afraid of a few eels and snakes. It's okay, Harper. Everything's gonna be alright. As long as you three do as I say, it will be. And let's be clear. If there is a rogue teleportation, or an arrow drawn at the wrong time, or any nature trickery, Harper is dead. Don't try me. Understood? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Marcus? Understood. All right, Mondo. Shall we head to the Valley of Souls? Time to bring back the dead. You really are sick. Oh, cheer up, Chloe. You're going to see your beloved grandmother soon. Everyone, wrap hands. I thought you'd never ask. Chloe, Marcus, Harper, Eels. Marcus? It's going to be okay, Harper. I'm glad you think so. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Cerberus, Valley of Souls, please. Welcome back to the Valley of Souls, Reaper. Yeah, well, I've brought company. Whoa. <laughs> what is this place? Lovely, isn't it? This is where Mondo brings the souls of the dead. They're over there? Across the river? Yeah. The black water of River Styx, dividing the land of the living from the dead. And as a reminder, the water is poisonous and instantly fatal. So let's all be careful not to touch it when we get on the boat. We're all going on this trip? Of course. You're our guide. Harper is my insurance policy, and I need Cupid to make Ivy see that she loves me. And what about me? Uh, when we reach the other side, you, my dear, will call to your grandmother and bring her to the shore. You mean I'm the bait? I think you'd be more excited to see your grandma again. You want me to thank you for trying to kidnap and brainwash her? Mondo, why don't you give the boatman a break? 
you can prepare the vessel for our journey. And a reminder, do not try anything. Or Harper goes in the water. Got it. I'll let you know when the boat is ready. Chloe? Marcus? You okay? We're good. Wonderful. Ugh! Oh, gross! Be right back, Harper. Mr. Boatman. I'm going to take it from here. As you wish. Thank you. Oh, wow. There he goes. Now time to fill the cup with water. Here for what wants to discuss. Hop on. And she gets on the boat and you make her hide it in my room. And then what? We'll just let us all go? Well, I hope that we can. Boat's ready, everyone. Be careful. Don't touch the water. Stand down, friends. I'll bring Harper aboard myself. Get off me, snake man! Marcus. Okay, I'm coming. Chloe? Nice day for a relaxing boat ride in poisonous water. Grab the pole, Mondo. Let's begin our journey. <sighs> off we go. Please keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle. It's so quiet. No birds. Nothing living up here. Except us. We're almost to the other side. What are all those lights over there? Souls. People who have already crossed over. Including my ivy. Ugh, you can't give him what he wants! Ugh, this ugh, isn't right! Turn ugh, back, Mondo! Quiet! So brave, this one, and yet so helpless. Don't hurt her! I won't, unless you make me. Now, before we reach the shore and summon Ivy, Marcus, how about you hand over the dummy arrow? What? I don't know what you're- I left an eel behind on the beach in Fiji to spy on you. I told you, chaos is everywhere. Look, Mr. Apep. You know, Harper is looking awfully thirsty, don't you think? Mondo, why not give her a sip of that tasty beverage you're hiding in your robe? What? No, I... Pour the water over the side. Now! When will you learn that I'm always a step ahead uh, of you? Uh, uh. Okay, okay. All right. Now that we've gotten your ill-fated plan out of the way, dock the boat, Mondo. And Chloe, call for your grandmother. This is all wrong. Chloe, are you okay? Oh, I'm great. Did I mention how much I hate you, Apep? But we're practically going to be related soon. Call her. <sighs> okay. Grandma? Grandma, are you there? Grandma. Chloe, is that you? It's me, Grandma. Chloe. It's Ivy. She's here. Grandma, uh, where are you? Chloe. She's coming. I can feel it. That one light. It's getting brighter. And closer. Grandma, I, I'm here. Chloe, my sweet girl. I see you. How is this Possible. What are you doing here? I wish I didn't have to tell you. Ivy, I have waited so long for this moment. You? Chloe, what are you doing with him? He's a monster. I know. I'm so sorry we brought him here. I want nothing to do with you, Apep. Well, you won't always feel that way, Ivy, I promise. Chloe? What is this? Grandma. These are my friends, Mondo and Marcus. The Grim Reaper? And Cupid? Yes. Hello, Mrs. Lovejoy. Pleasure to meet you. No! Let me go! Don't make me hurt her. And this is Harper. Apep, he wants us to bring you back to the other side. The other side? 
You can live again, Ivy. Together, we can live as long as we want. No, I'm content here. I had my time on Earth. This is where I belong. With Edward. I don't want to hear his name. He's a giant snake again. This is who you really are. You killed my grandfather. And I'll kill Harper if Ivy doesn't get on the boat. Ah! Don't do it, Mrs. Lovejoy. Ugh. She's Ugh. an innocent child, mm. Apep. Get on the boat, Ivy. We can be happy together. You will love me. Because Cupid here will make me love you. I'm sorry, Mrs. Lovejoy. He has my sister. Grandma. It's all right, Chloe. I'll get on the boat, but I might need some help. Do it, Mondo. Help her on board. Take my hand, Mrs. Lovejoy. Thank you. Give me a hug, Chloe. I missed you so much. What was that? I don't know. Now, we head back to the other side. Mondo, what's happening? What's that noise? What are all those lights? I think... Other souls are coming. Other souls? Something happened when I brought Grandma Ivy on the boat. Like, the seal was broken. The seal between the living and the dead? And some of them... Some of them aren't sounding so nice. <laughs> Greetings, unfortunate souls! All are welcome. No. I have to go back. Mondo, you must close the seal. You're not going anywhere. Apep, you knew this would happen, didn't you? That if we brought Grandma Ivy across, it would punch a hole between the worlds. All the souls could escape. Did I know that I'd have the love of my life back and unleash chaos on the world in the process? Win-win for me, right? Mondo, if millions of souls get loose in the world... I know! I won't be able to stop them. No one will. You have to send me back before it's too late. Grandma. I told you, Chloe. Death is as natural as the rain. Marcus, shoot her with the golden arrow. Now! Don't do it, Marcus! I said quiet! Send her back, Mondo, hurry! But he'll kill you, Harper. You said it yourself. I was supposed to die in that gym. You saved me! No! That's not right! Send me back, please! Grandma! Shoot her, Cupid! Do it! I've got myself wrapped around your sister! Nice uh, and tight! Uh, Quiver! Uh, Bose! No, Marcus! It's okay! I'm ready! No! What are you talking about? Mondo, you gave me so much extra time! We danced on an ice floe. We watched the sun come up on a beach in Greece. Stop talking like that. It's time. Harper, no! You both know I'm right. Chloe knows it too. Chloe? We can't let these souls loose. We have to stop it. That's my girl. Shoot her now, or Harper goes in the water. It's my time. Death is as natural as the rain. Goodbye, Marcus. Goodbye, Mondo. Harper! No! They're coming through! What are you waiting for? You squeeze me, Apep! No, I'm gonna squeeze you back! What are you doing? What are you Why are you wrapping the tire around you? Because I'm taking you with me! What? What? No, 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 no! Let go! Harper! No! Harper! No! Harper! Wings! Sight! Marcus, Mondo, stop! You can't touch that water. But, Harper, she's... I know, I know, I'm, I'm so sorry. But she did it. Harper did it. Apep is gone. So is my sister. I'm terribly sorry. But Mondo, you have to bring me back to shore before it's too late. <sighs> okay. Grandma. Goodbye, Chloe. I'm so proud of you. Are you? You have exceeded my wildest expectations. But the climate... That's not on you. And if anyone can save this world from itself, it will be you, Chloe Lovejoy. Well, 
you and your new friends. I love you. I love you. Always. Time to go. Your grandfather is waiting for me. Goodbye, Cupid. Reaper. Harper was a brave, incredible soul. She was. It was an honor, Mrs. Lovejoy. Take care of yourself. And you take care of my girl. Goodbye, Mother Nature. Tell Felix I said hi. Goodbye, my sweet Chloe. Goodbye. Goodbye. worked. The seal is closed. And Harper is over there? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'll take us back to the other side. Careful getting out of the boat. She's gone. I can't believe my sister is gone. Marcus, help me tie off the boat. I don't know what to say. Harper died a hero. She saved... everything. She saved the world from chaos. Harper. What's that? Epep? No! He survived? Where? Where is he? The river! Look! The boat's back out there! How? It's coming back! Be ready! Wings! Quiver! Bow! Hit up! Reaper Moon! Where is he? Where's that snake? I don't see him. I think he's holding on to the boat. Apep! Show yourself! Marcus? Mondo? <coughs> Ugh. That water tastes terrible. Harper? Harper? You made it! But how? We watched you die. I don't know. When I pulled Apep into the water, he hit first. So I guess, technically... You killed Chaos. Oh my. But if you killed Chaos, that means... Oh! Hey, guys! Harper, the snakes are all looking at you. You're... Chaos? I guess... I'm Chaos now. Huh. How about that? You go, girl. About time we had another female on this squad. I... I mean... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Told you I didn't need to be rescued. Wings for track. You know, I don't really need you to fly me around anymore, Marcus. I haven't figured out my powers yet, but it seems like Apep went wherever he wanted to. Chaos is everywhere. Remind me to ask Ismail about that. Yeah. So, we're home. We're home. I guess, now what? I mean, you're Cupid, I'm Chaos. We have a lot to figure out. But I believe you can help me be better at the job. Really? How? I was trying too hard to control love. To make it perfect. Falling in love, it's not a formula. It needs to happen, or not happen, on its own. It needs a little... Chaos? Yeah. So, are we gonna tell Mom and Dad who we are? I think it's time. There's something else I need to take care of first. To make things right with them. I'm glad to hear you say that. Marcus, Harper. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Is everything all right? Let them speak, sweetness. You're the one who interrupted, dear love. Um, Mom, Dad, can I talk to you for a second over here? Sure, what's up? 
I just wanted to show you these pictures I took on my phone. Whoever. Uh, this is oh. uh, Icy from the North Pole. Virtus to Smoky. Uh, oh, here's my dress from the <laughs> <Yep>. uh, <laughs> Squad. Mom? Dad? How are you feeling? I feel... Like I'm waking up from a very long nap. What happened? I think Marcus has something to say. I just wanted to say... I understand why you want to get divorced. And I... I just want you both to be happy. Thank you for saying that, bud. We'll always love you guys. And we'll always be family. You want to go get some ice cream? All of us? Sure. That sounds great. Marcus? Yeah. Let's do that. Raimondo! Hey, Mom. Dad. I'm home. Oh, you're back. We were so worried. I was pretty worried myself. But it's gonna be okay now. Yeah? Yeah. Do I have a story to tell you? Hey, you want to tell it over ice cream? I'd love to, but there's something I need to do first. Hello! Hi! Um, thank you all for being here. I know you have a lot of questions. Some of you are hoping I can help you. I just want to say something about being the Grim Reaper. About life. And about death. Someone told me once that what makes life special is knowing that it ends. Without death, life wouldn't mean so much. So I hope you all cherish every moment you have and spend each day thinking about how to make it meaningful, how to make it matter. And now, I'm going to get some ice cream. Mom? Dad? You ready? Ready. Ready. Grab onto my hand. I'll have a rainbow sherbet in a cup with rainbow sprinkles and... Mondo? Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez? Oh, I'll never get used to you bloofing in like that. Marcus? Harper? <laughs> I guess we all had the same idea. We'll go order. Nice to see you, Harper. Marcus? You too, Mr. Ramirez. The whole family is here together, huh? Yes, but... Our parents are getting divorced. Again. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's the right thing. Isn't it, Harper? It is. Hey, Mondo, I was thinking we might take a little trip tomorrow. Antarctica? Always wanted to see penguins. Oh, no. Don't tell me you're going to try to keep us apart again. No, it's not that. Look over there. Principal Durant? <laughs> Talking to your dad. Is she? I hope that doesn't they get me flirting? <laughs> oh boy. Quiver? Don't you dare touch those arrows. Well, Oscar, I think it's time we head back. Felix, you there? Nietzsche, where have you been? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Actually, you would. I'll tell you when I get home. Sounds like I missed a lot. Oh, not much. Just saving the world. Again. Oh, and my grandma says hi. Your grandma? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Hey, look who it is. Cupid, the Reaper, and Chaos. Hey, Chloe. What's up, Nate? I don't think she wants you to call her. It's cool. He earned it. We came to say goodbye. I was hoping you would. So, what happens now? You just head back to California? We resume doing these jobs on our own? I don't think we can. Or should. No, I'm pretty sure we're all connected now. So, would you say we're like... a real team? Seems like we are. Well, if we're a real team, we're going to need a name. Like the Avengers, or the Justice League. How about... Love, death, and beyond. Sounds like a store that's selling magical bedding. Yeah, that's objectively terrible. What about 
the Magical Council of Concerned Goodness. What? The initials are MCCG, Mother Nature, Chaos, Cupid, and Grim Reaper. That's even worse. It's a little on the nose, man. Okay, what about the forces of nature? The forces of nature? But that makes it sound like we all work for you. Well, I did get my powers first. She's got a point. I kinda like it. Forces of nature. Okay. Why not? So, fellow forces, what do we do first? Look for more bad guys? Get costumes made? Well, I was thinking we should probably figure out if there are others out there. Others like us? Others? others? Sorry, boss. Things got a little out of hand. You're back to normal. Cupid helped me out. I'm sorry I let myself be compromised like that. A lot went wrong this time, didn't it? Have you seen the news lately? Not only is the Grim Reaper living in Savannah, but we're getting reports of another young person flying through the sky with large white wings and a quivering bowl of arrows. And after this series of unusual weather patterns, people are asking... Since the dawn of time, these jobs were not meant to be public. And now look, the whole world is asking questions. It's a complication. I'll give you that. We need to put this genie back in the bottle, Ismail. Turn back the clock before it's too late. You mean... Yes. I'm authorizing you to activate Father Time. <sighs> okay. I'll go pay her a visit. She's not going to be happy. China 1368, Ming Dynasty, here I come. Cupid and the Reaper was created by David Kreisman, Ben Strauss, and Chris Terry for Gen Z Media, based on characters from Becoming Mother Nature, created by Melissa Clark and Gen Z Media, featuring Jesus Del Orden as Mondo, Preston Bowman as Marcus, Sophie Fisher as Harper, and Isabella Dennison as Chloe. The show was written by David Kreisman and Jorge Aguirre. Our story consultant was Tom Cassiello. Michelle Tattenbaum is our director, sound design by Chris Terry and Darian Newsom. Music by Chris Terry, Sean Pierce, Kat Volks, and Jennifer Rokamp. Don't Fear the Reaper is performed by Haley Klinkhammer and written by Buck Dharma of Blue Oyster Cult. Sharon Michaels is our production manager, Jessica Fisher is our marketing coordinator, and Ben Strauss is our executive producer. To check out more great family audio, shop for t-shirts and scripts, or to download learning resources, visit gzmshows.com. Come on, baby, don't fear the reaper, baby, take my hand, don't fear the reaper, we'll be able to fly, don't fear the reaper, baby, I'm your If
find happiness We can be like they are Come on baby, don't fear the reaper Baby, take my hand Don't fear the reaper We'll be able to fly Don't fear the reaper Baby, I'm your Yeah.